Hey, get your own blog. Am I? Let me fix that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I'm back. And just in time for Halloween. Um, and this year I'm working on Halloween, like last year. And I'm working during the evening. So I won't be able to trick or treat. <laughs> Not that I would, even if I wasn't working. I haven't been uh, trick-or-treating since the, the seventh grade. Uh, that was my last year I did it. Uh, I think that's also the last year my sister did it too, when she, she was that age. <clears throat> and then now I I don't dress up in costume anymore. Uh, I think the last time I dressed up uh, for Halloween, uh, my whole family was going to a Halloween party. Uh, and, and everyone was in costume, but, but for, for my costume, uh, I just put on, uh, a Brett Favre Green Bay Packer jersey and, a Green Bay hat, and that was it. I didn't even wear like football pants or a helmet. I just wore the jersey and the hat. Yeah, this jersey. This one. Yeah, I just put it on and went to the party. Cause uh, I like the Packers. That's the amount of effort I put into my costume. Cause yeah, you know, then now that I'm old or <laughs> I don't really feel like dressing up in costume. Uh, I don't really know if it's just because I'm older and something that I grew out of or something, you know, like something I'm no longer into or if something that I might not feel comfortable doing anymore. So yeah, so. So basically, I mean, now that I'm older, I don't really celebrate Halloween. That, not, not that much anyway. I mean, I, I put up some Halloween decorations around the house, uh, but, but, uh, I'm not gonna get dressed up and not gonna go out trick or treating or or go to any parties. So I don't know what what do you do to celebrate Halloween when you don't do any of that stuff? <laughs> and for like other people when they get to be teenagers, they grow out of Halloween too. I remember as I got older, I would be seeing fewer and fewer kids my age also trick or treating. Uh, I think as they got older, they would instead go to parties instead of going trick or treating but uh yeah I I didn't go to parties either. Only now that I'm in high school it's more about parties than trick or treating. Oh 
Oh, you're going to a party, huh? Negative. And things change when you get older. Like, when you're a kid and you're dressing up for Halloween. Uh, like I did. Uh, the costumes were, like, cute costumes or funny costumes. Adorable. Uh, whereas... When you get older, it seems like uh, the costumes become either sexier or more offensive. And it could also have something to do with my imagination. Like, like I don't imagine myself as uh, whatever I'm dressing up as. I, I can't picture myself in the costume. Uh, how how I would look, because uh, I I remember I mentioned this in like one of my first vlogs about imagination and autism, and uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure if I got it right, but. Uh, and basically, one of the myths about autism is that autistic people don't have imagination, or they, they, they lack the ability to imagine, and that's not true. Um, but uh, what is true is that uh, the people like myself do imagination in a different way. Like, um, if you tell someone to imagine a boat, uh, they'll probably imagine, uh, themselves on the boat. I'm on a boat! Whereas, like, if you tell me to imagine a boat, I'll, I'll probably just imagine a boat on the water and, from like the point of view where I'm standing on the shore and the boat's out on the water. that That's how I would imagine a boat. And so, so it's like a, a third person uh, viewpoint instead of a, a first person. So, and for some autistic people dressing up and being in costume uh, can actually be good for them because they can pretend to be uh, someone else and they, they can be good at it uh, like uh, like if they're in like a, a school play and they they have a character then then uh, they they know exactly what to say and how to act. And then they can maybe run with that character and do other stuff. But uh, as soon as they come out of character, then they don't know what to do. And they're back to being socially awkward. Whereas with me, what little acting experience I have... I didn't enjoy it because uh, there's I, di I didn't enjoy the people looking at me and staring at me and uh, I, I don't like having the spotlight on me I guess so yeah for whatever reason I don't really celebrate Halloween anymore and, yeah, yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. So, until next video, we'll see you later.